I'm Aaron Goodwin, and I'm a zookeeper at Tulsa Zoo, and we're here in Wildlife Trek, and we're going to be talking about our native walking sticks. We display the northern walking stick, which is one of the most common walking sticks in North America. They range all the way from Texas up into northeast Canada, so they're seen in a lot of different habitats. They are commonly seen in the late summer to early fall. They're growing all summer long, but they go undetected while they're smaller. They're food for a lot of things, specifically birds. We'll take them and feed their, their young with those. So they hide in the trees a lot. And then when they become adults, they get larger and they're, they're mature, they wander off the tree a little bit more and people find them on the side of their house or a building or on their cars. But uh, they're very mo much more visible when they're adults and that's when people see them. So adults can get to three to four inches in length. Females are larger than males. They're a little more robust. Males are a little bit thinner. Males have a clasper ring on the back end of their body. So when they uh, find a female to mate, they clip on with that clasper ring and that, uh, that helps hold on because they're always moving and they don't want to lose their mate. So it's easy to imagine an animal that doesn't fly, they don't have wings, so they live their life in this one tree and their parents lay eggs, or mother lays eggs, and drops them in the leaf litter below. They overwinter there. When they hatch, it's a little bit different than, say, a butterfly or moth that lays the egg on the leaf, but they're underneath the tree they need to live in and feed on. So they just walk right up that tree, and then they're in the tree they need to grow in. They're a really neat animal, and they're one that a lot of people recognize. And uh, I think most every adult that I run into has seen one sometime, and they're fascinated by them.